What's up guys, TC here, and today I've got a really cool invention for you. I call it a hydroponic timing system, okay? Now, I should lead off by telling you that uh, I've been trying to come up with a, a timing system for some of the stuff I've been making, and what I've noticed is there's a really big lack of uh, a way to create delay in the wiring in Starbound. So, for instance, if I wanted to make a door open after one second, uh, so I'd hit a button and then one second later the door opens, I'd have to do all this, okay? And these are a bunch of knot gates strung together here. And that's because there is no uh, repeater-like item. Think like Minecraft. And because Minecraft has a repeater, you know, you string together more repeaters. It in, tur in turn, it like, furthers out the delay. So here, the only thing you can do in Starbound is string together a bunch of knot gates. So this, all these knot gates connect to one another. And as the signal propagates through, there's a little bit of delay between each one. I'm going to say less than a tenth of a second. And it adds up over time. And so this, this whole little configuration here, which is actually 20 knot gates, is only one second. So to, if you watch really closely here, to turn these lights on, it's a one second timer. And it took all of these switches to make a one second timer. So what happens if I want to make a 10 second timer? Or a, a one minute timer, you know? So what I did is I sat out to try to come up with a some kind of system, some kind of large timer that could extend out past, you know, one, two seconds. Something that I could ideally go really far out to very large amounts of time. Like what if I wanted to make a dungeon or a room that you have to complete within 10 minutes, how would I do that? I can't string together hundreds and thousands of these these knot gates. So I came up with a pretty cool system I'm very happy with. And I need to warn you before I go in that whenever I record, it lags my game a little bit. So the times you're going to get, uh, I've noticed from recording this over and over again, are not going to match up precisely for you. But whenever I'm in single player and I'm not recording, they are exactly uh, 10 seconds, 30 seconds. But for you guys, because I'm recording, it's going to lag my game a little bit, which in turn causes the game to perform slower. So the times are going to be off just a little bit on your end, but trust me, when you build it, it will be exactly... Like when you're in single player world, the times are very easy to make up, but when I'm recording, it's just very difficult. So we'll hop down here and I'm going to show you. This is a 10 second timer right here. And over here, this is a 30 second timer. In order to get a 30 second timer from the repeated uh, knot gates that we had above, it would take 600 knot gates strung together. Or you could just make this little device here to get the same amount of time. And all you're going to need to build this is a standing turret, a water gun, a liquid sensor, a little red ball, a drain, a small wall switch, and some knot gates. Uh, now the first thing you're going to notice here is that the, this is a turret and you need to put your water gun in the turret. And the other thing is the red ball uh, is over here where the, ball, the, the gun can tar uh, target it. And the reason for that is that the game considers the red ball to be an entity. And so the turrets think it's a bad guy and they target it, right? And the best thing about this is that when you put this down, it doesn't despawn, it doesn't go away. So this is infinitely usable. So I'm going to show you a demonstration here. And as I told you before, when I record, it's a little bit delayed. So this is a 10 second timer. It's probably going to come out to be about 12 or 13 seconds on y'all's side, just due to how crappy my computer is. But uh, I promise you it is accurate. I've tested it 20, 30 times already. So if we turn it on here, you'll see it starts filling up this vat here. And what's going on is I hit this button, which turns on the switch. It basically that turns on the turret, and it closes these two water gates that are the, the drains, right? And when the water reaches this liquid sensor, it turns off the turret and opens these gates, and in turn sends a signal back to these lights, right? So here we turn the lights off. Another 10 seconds will go by. As it fills up, it'll fill all the way up to that blue line, and then it'll turn these lights off. And what I love about this system is that the wiring stays the exact same. The only thing that changes is the size of the water vat. So if we go over here, this is the exact same wiring. I just have the uh, the switches and everything in a different uh, orientation. But this is a 30 second vat, okay? This would take so much more space to, to string out all those knot gates. So for this one here, when we turn it on, exact same thing's gonna happen. All we did was we increased the size of the water vat. And what I love is that you could increase the size of the water vat to be whatever you want. Like you could make a timer that's two seconds, or you could make a timer that's two hours if you made a really, really large vat. So I, I just love the simplicity behind it, the, the how easy it is. There's no change to the wiring. So I'll pull up the wiring again if you guys want to see it. You know, if you want to build off of it. If you have any questions about what's going on, feel free to comment uh, in the comment section. Uh, you know, it's not very complicated. It's just uh, pretty simple stuff. In fact, there might even be a better way to do this. I'm not super wiring savvy so if you know a much better way or an even more simple way to do this exact thing please let me know in the comments 
Uh, otherwise, I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Hope you learned something. Please rate, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you later.